Hello and welcome back. Thanks for joining me. In chapter two of the beginning understanding of Star Citizen, in this chapter we're going to talk about basic movements. So again, thanks for joining. Let's get started here with chapter two of our beginning understanding of Star Citizen series. And chapter two is going to be about the basic movements that we can do with our character. So let's get started. First things first, moving mouse left and right will let us look left and right. Or mouse up and down, around in a circle. That is the basic way of how we look around is by using our mouse and moving it left, right, up and down. Holding down the F key will bring up some crosshairs. You can see the little crosshairs right there. And that is by holding down the F key on the keyboard while moving the mouse around. All right, so holding the F and looking right, you're gonna see it turns into like a target and some menus popped up and one of that menu is to get up. So menus will pop up um, depending on whether or not we have something that we can interact with, okay? So that's uh, uh, how we can um, perform an action, one of the ways we can perform an action. All right, holding the F key, while scrolling the mouse wheel, will zoom us in and out. So that's F while looking and, and, and zoom. So that's the mouse wheel in conjunction with holding down the F key. Zooming in and out. Holding down the F key and right clicking will bring up an interactive menu. And it also brings up our statistics over, or you can see them down at the bottom left. You can see that um, hydration is at what, 100%. Our nutrition is at 100%. Our character outline, um, there's no damage. If there was damage, it would be a red outline telling you which part of you is damaged. The temperature, our current temperature in Celsius, our oxygen levels, and our health levels. Okay, and we talked about oxygen and health in the first video. We talked about the oxygen pens and the um, medi pens that can help with that and we also talked about how you need food and drink so we have the interactive wheel here that we that we can interact with and i'm not holding down so once i bring this up i do not need to hold down the f key so you can see if i click on each section uh, i get something in the middle that says favorites so these keys here are reserved for putting in your favorites um, so you can create your own shortcut keys or items that you use on a, actions that you use on a regular basis and assign them to the shortcut keys or your favorite keys. And that'll become one of your favorite items. The three dots here means there's multiple actions. If I left click on that, um, you'll see that it brought me over to one more action here which would be the Moby Glass, or I can do the player action. If I click on player, and there are no actions available for player, so let's go back, let's go back. If I click on the section to the right, or this option, you can see that this is the Comlink app toggle, and you can also see right here, right next to this button, there's a shortcut key assigned to it, and that would be the F11 key. On this next section, if I were to left click on it, this would be the action to exit the bed. And it's got a shortcut key of Y associated with it. So that's our interactive mode. And this will change depending on where we are and where we're standing. So I'll show this to you again uh, later on. Uh, and you'll see that it looks totally different. All right, or there's a lot more options on it. Uh, it always looks the same. And we're just gonna left click on the exit to get out of that. So that's, that's what we can do with the F key in conjunction with the mouse. Okay, left click to interact with something. F key and scroll, zoom, and F key and right click. And that would bring up your um, interactive menu. All right, so let's get out of this bed and get started here. Uh, I'm going to hold down the F key. I'm going to look right, and I see the option here to get up. So I'm going to left click on that, and you're going to see that I get up out of the bed. So we have movement keys, uh, standard keyboard movement keys are W, A, S, and D. W for forward, A for left, S for backwards, and D for right. So if I hit W right now, you're going to see 
I move forward and S I move back let's move over to the other side of the bed and all I'm doing is is turning by using the mouse and moving left and right on the mouse to change the, the where I'm pointing and then I'm gonna go in that direction we can change the view of our character by using the F4 key right now we're in first person view if I hold down the F4 key we're gonna go into third person view and if I toggle the F4 key again, I go into third person view a little further back. So those are the, that's the three views that I have available. And if I move my mouse, you can see that I'm moving my head. So when I'm in first person view, and I can see when I move my mouse left and right, that I am turning my head. I actually see that in third person view. I am turning my head. Now I can only turn my head so far before my body starts turning. So I'm just moving my mouse to the left constantly and you can see that i'm spinning around to the left move to the right and i was spinning around to the right okay. so my camera right now my camera position is locked behind my character and we can control that by holding down the z key in the in the view that we want to change the camera so I'm going to hold down the Z key and move my mouse. And now you will see that I can move completely around my character. Whatever position my camera is in when I let go of the Z key, that will become my camera position. So now you can see I am doing the same thing I was doing before from behind, but now I'm doing it with a view of the front. Okay, and that camera lock is per view. So if I go back to first person view, the third person view first selection you can see I'm still behind my character if I hold down the Z key move the camera to over here to the right let go of the Z key and make that my camera position for this view all right third camera position first view third person third person so let's just go ahead and put my camera back behind the character hold down the Z key there you go change the camera position for this view hold down Z key move it in behind there we go and now we have locked our camera positions back so that's camera positions so that was holding down the Z key while moving the mouse and that's how you can change your camera position next we're gonna jump so spacebar jump just allows us to jump in space and the control key on your keyboard is crouch and while crouch we can move forward left right back to stand back up we just hit the crouch button crouch button again so crouch crouch okay that's the button i'm pressing control control crouch on crouch all right we can also go into a prone position and that would be the x key on the keyboard I'm going to hit X, and now we're in a prone position. Hit X again, and we're standing up. X, prone position. Okay, and while we're in the prone position, we have our standard movements. Forward, back, left, and right. Okay, we also have a couple extra keys that we can do while we're in the prone position, and that would be Q and E, and that is to roll. So if I hit Q, I'm going to roll to the left onto my back if i hit q again i'm going to roll to the left again from my point of view which means i'm just going to roll back to my stomach so roll left and then i'll roll left again from my point of view okay stop reaching for the chair buddy all right e would roll us right so let's move a little bit we're going to do e okay rolls us on our back e rolls us back to the right so to do a complete rollover we're going to do q to roll left E to roll right, okay, and that would be a complete rollover. Or Q to roll left, and Q to roll left. E to roll right, Q to roll left, complete rollover. So it's the opposite, Q and E. Let's go ahead and stand back up, and I'm gonna hit the crouch key, so I'm gonna go from prone to crouching, and then I can go from crouching to standing by hitting the control key again. All right, so that's our basic movements, W, A, S, and D. 
and let's go back into our first person view all right so while in first person view you can see some writing over here on the left hand side let's see here and that writing is the global chat so that's just people typing on their keyboard and it's going into global chat all right so if we hit the enter key on our keyboard that will take us into global chat hitting enter again will send the message if we type so let's just go ahead and type hello verse and hit enter and you'll see that it showed up in there from pike hiker hello verse um, and so i just sent that by hitting the enter key after typing and you can see we got a response back already all right if i don't want to see that on my screen i can use the f12 key to toggle it off so f12 will toggle off the chat window and f12 will toggle the chat window back on so we can toggle it off or toggle it on depending on what we want to see now we can only do that while we're in first person view and we have to have our helmet on if we don't have our helmet on we don't have communications with the rest of the world that's how we communicate with the rest of the world is with our helmet Okay, how do I know I have my helmet on? Well, if I go into third person view, I can see that's that's not my head, that's really a helmet. All right, and in first person view, up here at the top right hand corner of the screen, you're gonna see there is a little satellite. Okay, if I see that little satellite, that means I've got my helmet on. And there's also an ammunition um, symbol up there, which right now means it's got a circle around it which means no there's no ammunition available to me all right but that's how we know that we have our helmet on we have that little symbol okay and when we have that symbol we can communicate with the rest of the world using our typing on our keyboard and hitting enter chat type enter send okay uh, just understand that you don't want to be doing anything in the world kind of you want to be kind of like in an area that's well you can do whatever you want all right, but understand that if you are in chat and something happens where you have to immediately start giving your ship commands or you have to do something to avoid some type of emergency, um, your keyboard commands are not going to be going into your spaceship. They're going to be going into chat. So make sure that you hit enter before you try to do any kind of keyboard command. So like if I hit enter and we're trying to do move left, nothing's going to happen other than i'm going to send the letter a to the chat okay so hit enter then you can see oh as long as i'm not in chat i have control over my character all right so although we can that we can move that's great we have our basic movements down um and we can toggle the chat off and on a couple of other movement things that are related well let's talk about this F key again. So holding down the F key allows us to slightly interact with our environment. So if I hold down the F key and I move my mouse around, you can see certain things become highlighted. That means those things are things that I can interact with. So uh, a basic interaction. Now I'm not seeing any menus on these things because I'm a little far away. So in order to interact with something, you have to be pretty close. And then you'll see that it turns into a target and the uh, menu pops up so I have the open option so if I left click on open the little cubby hole is going to open and if I left click and hit close click close the little cubby hole is going to close so a shortcut to that is if there's only a single item on the menu or even if there's multiple items in the menu so sometimes there'll be a menu list it might say open open halfway open a third of the way open a quarter of the way okay but I would have to individually select those items in the menu and left click on them or if I want to select the first item in this case there's only one but if I was only going to be selecting the first item or the single item I don't have to hold down the F key I can just tap the F key while looking so if I tap the F key while looking you're going to see that it does the action and if I tap the F key again it's going to do the action all right, so if there's a single action, it's automatically going to select the single action. If there's multiple actions, it's going to automatically select the first action in the list. All right, and that would be our default. So that's kind of how we can interact with our items using the F key, and that's how we interact with most items in the world. 
So here we have a, uh, for example, we have the coffee maker. So let's just look at the coffee maker, holding down the F key, you can see that I can make coffee. If I look at the cup, you can see I can carry the cup or I can inspect the cup. So those are my two options that are available. So let's go ahead and left click on make coffee. We're gonna make a cup of coffee to get started here. See the coffee cup is filling up. All right. So now let's check our menu out. And now if we go in our coffee cup, we have the carry and inspect like we did before. And we have the drink option now. Okay, before the drink wasn't there, but now it is there. But the drink has a red circle around it. Like, you know, drink. Why not? No drink. Okay, and the reason we can't drink is because we have our helmet on. If we were to take our helmet off, we would be able to drink the coffee. But you can't drink or eat with your helmet on. So in order to perform those actions, you would have to remove your helmet. I'm not going to remove my helmet now. Just understand that's why we're getting the red circle there on drink. All right, let's move on. Let's see if we can get out of here. So we're going to come over the door. I'm going to show you the menu. The menu available on the door uh, is should be saying open. Right now it's not saying anything. We're just going to tap the F button. And we are now outside of our habitat in the R&R &R in the city of Lorville on the planet Hurston. And you can see there's some other NPC travelers here with us. These are non-player characters just kind of milling about, okay, to help with the atmosphere. So once we're outside of the habitat, we cannot go back into the habitat. Can't get back in there no matter what I try and do. The only way to get back in there would be to respawn back in there. And we'll do that at the end of this video. All right, so let's go into a uh, third person view here. And as you can see, our character, we're doing the W and we are kind of walking kind of slow. We can control the speed of our character using our mouse wheel. So I'm going to scroll the mouse wheel forward and you can see I start picking up speed. All right. And let's turn around. And let's try that again. Okay. I'm going to scroll forward and we're going to go full bore. So this is as fast as I can go um, with the scroll wheel and the mouse. And if I want to slow back down, I'm just going to scroll back down with the mouse wheel. And we're going to turn around. And again, we're controlling our speed while holding down the W key and using the mouse wheel to speed up and slow down. So we have another option for running. So that's as fast as we can run with the scroll wheel. And as long as I leave the scroll wheel um, all the way up, every time I hit the W key, that's the speed I'm going to be going. So if I stop, hit the W key, I'm just going to start running again, hit stop, hit the W key. I don't have to scroll each time. So there we go. And I slow down to a walk. The other way that we can run is we can sprint. And we sprint by holding down the shift key and hitting the W key. So let's get ourselves lined up here for a sprint. Okay, and then I'm gonna hold the shift key down and hit the W key. And now I'm gonna go into a full sprint. Now that is faster than I can run with the mouse wheel in W, okay? So that's a full sprint. And it doesn't matter what speed I'm at, if I hold down the shift key, and the um, W key. Oops, sorry. Um, watch out, buddy. Buddy, get out of the way. Come on, man. Trying to sprint here. Trying to show people how to sprint. Dude. Oh, thank you. All right, there we go. So that's sprinting. Now, sprinting will take a toll on you. Uh, not so much when you're not wearing, like if you're wearing street clothes. But if you're wearing a heavy armor suit or some kind of a heavy protective suit, sprinting will cause your body to start using a lot more energy. Your temperature will rise. You will start breathing heavy, uh, depending on the suit. And eventually, you will, your heartbeat will speed up. And I believe you will actually die, although I've never died that way yet. That is, uh, I believe, a way that you can die in this, in this race. 
So you can run for a little while. You'll watch your stats go up, watch your heartbeat. It'll go from a uh, normal green to a yellow and then to red. Uh, I would suggest you stop sprinting at that point or else you could possibly die. All right, I believe that is about it for the commands that I'm going to go over. I just wanted to show you the basic commands to get you moving in the verse. Uh, I will show you the escape key. So let's talk about the escape key. The escape key brings up to your menu. So this is how you get out of the game. You can uh, exit the game, you quit the game, you could exit to the menu, or you can return back to the game, or you can go to options. We're going to go to options. Okay, I'm not going to go into all these options in, in this series, um, but just know these options are here and you can look at them at your at your own leisure. But we are going to go to key bindings because key bindings is related to what we're talking about right now. I'm going to go to key bindings and this is going to show you your keyboard and all of the options that are available to you. So we talked about the W, A, S, and D. And as you can see, W, move forward, A, move left. So all I did was move my mouse down here over the keys and I can see what commands are available to me on foot. If I want to click down here, I can go to in flight and these would be the commands in flight. So one thing I will tell you is, as we say in the verse, if you can walk, you can fly. You can now fly a ship. You know all the commands to fly a ship, okay? Uh, and we'll get into that later, but you know the basics. W, A, S, and D, control, and space. Those are your basic commands for controlling a ship. Or if you're out in space and you are, uh, what do they call that? U, V, A, uh, or E, V, A? I don't, I don't know. But if you're outside your ship and you're, and you're in space, you have the same options. And, and it controls the same thing. So once you know how to walk, you can fly. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and hit the back over here. And we're gonna return to game. And the last thing I'm gonna show you is like what we talked about in chapter number one. We talked about the backspace key and how you can use it to respawn. So we're gonna go ahead and respawn right now. So I'm just gonna hold down the backspace key. You're going to see my character just kind of collapse, ragdoll. And now we will respawn back where we started or the last place that we landed a ship. That would be where we respawn. Okay, so if we die, like we said in the first video, we die in the verse. You're going to go back to the last place you landed okay or the last place that you spawned the last time and that's your or in your ship okay so those are your three out all right that's it and uh you can see right now i'm at optimal health and like i said in the first video also you know if you do respawn you automatically get all your health all your food all your nutrition all of that goes back up to 100 percent so um just remember that is an option for you. That's it for this video, guys. Um, we will catch you on the next video where we start interacting a little more with ourselves. We go over how we can interact with ourselves, how we can interact with the universe or the verse, and try and get ourselves around the verse. So we'll see you on that next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.